Hey everyone, it's a non-Canadian Canadian again, here to show you the versatile assassin guide on Isle of Scale. So we're going to start off first with the straight shot achievement. Now it's very important for this one and the next two, you keep running throughout the whole way, because if you slow down at any point, you will miss the timing. So we're going to be doing this on Sophia Washington. So make sure that, yeah, you don't stop running. Otherwise, you'll miss the timing and you won't be able to take her out. So just run up, start at the pier like I did, and just keep running. Make your way through the crowd. Okay. And what we want to do is go behind these curtains over here. So there we go, we are trespassing. Don't stress, no one will spot us as long as you keep moving. Climb your way up the ladder, don't worry about those yellow indicators. These guards in here won't even see you, so just crouch run now. Open these doors and crouch run. Use these boxes for cover in case your yellow ticker starts increasing like it is on mine. And then you can just pause behind the box whenever you're getting a bit too close for comfort. Now, these two guards are on the move. The minute they cross that doorway there, you're going to climb up this column here. And you're going to want to climb it all the way to the very top like so and hang and climb your way to this stairway like so now hop onto this ledge and we're going to enter this is Sophia Washington's room now if you want to make sure you save the game at this point because you're going to be using this location to do the other two achievements as well so here you see Sophia Washington now turn on open the doors Turn on the clock the instant she's directly in front of you. Otherwise, you will not catch her attention. You will catch someone else in that little room outside there. So it's very important that you time the clock correctly. So there we go. Sophia Washington comes in. Wait for the doors to close. Then pull out your weapon. Wait for her to turn off the clock and then take her out. Da, 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 da. Wait for it, like so. And there you have it, straight shot completed. All right, next up we've got Piano Man. So what we're going to do here, very simple. Set up the mission in the same way I did for straight shot. Wait for Sophia to turn off the clock and then Garota, like so. And there you have it, Piano Man achievement done. Now for the someone could hurt themselves achievement, what you need to do here is throw a couple of coin. Now you want to throw it right in the middle of this couch, but just a little bit in front of it. So wait for her to touch the clock, turn it off. Now toss the coin. You might have to do this a couple of times because it doesn't always catch her attention on the first try. Yep, so there you go. When she's walking back, that's when you have to toss the coin. And then once you've done that, shoot the Lights down and have her killed. Nice work, 47. And there you have it. The only problem is you might cause a bit of a panic in the area, but looks as though we're in the clear. So just something to be aware of when you do that achievement. For the tasteless, traceless achievement, what you're going to do is change the items that you're starting off with. So I would recommend switching the fiber wire and picking the lethal syringe injector over here. Now, if you don't have that item unlocked, I suggest you watch some of my earlier videos, links will be in the description to show you how to do that. Now with regards to using it on Sophia Washington, you're going to do exactly what I did in the first achievement. So here once again enter her room, open the doors and make sure you time the clock radio turning on. So do it exactly when she is right in front of you like so. If you don't do it at the right time, you will catch someone else's attention. So, what I would do is just hide around here, take cover behind the couch, and get your lethal syringe ready to go. Like so. And here we go, she will come inside. Wait for the doors to close before you make your way around her. You need to be off. And then get wait for it to turn it off, and then inject her. And it takes instant effect, and there you go, Sophia Washington down. down. Nice work, 47. 
Now for the hold my hair achievement, what you need to do is switch out your fiber wire and we're going to be using the emetic syringe. Uh, it's pretty difficult to use the emetic poison in the game without having to equip the item. So I recommend doing it this way because it's much easier. So once again, run up into Sophia Washington's room as I showed you earlier and get yourself ready at the radio because we are going to time turn it on right when she's in front of us. So good chance to save the game if you would like to make sure in case you miss the time, you can just go back and do it now. Do it right now, like so. And once again, take cover behind the cush couch over here. And just have your emetic syringe ready. So what, she will enter inside, wait for the doors to close before you sneak behind her. Pointless to leave this on. And now there's a bit of a process here. After she turns off the radio, now you want to inject her and you want to go back and hide behind the couch over here because it's going to take a few seconds for her to register that oh, she's been feeling oh, sick I, and no, she will make her way to the bathroom. Now, what we will have to do is so she's going to go through that door. We need to go through this other one here. Now, before you do that, I recommend shooting out that camera and slowly make your way around. Be careful because there are a lot of yellow, yellow markers. You just got to keep running as you do this. And then she will be hunched over and then you can go ahead and drown up like so. And there you have it. Hold my hair One achievement done, done and versatile assassin achievement done. So next thanks up. all for watching. So, I'll catch you in the next video.